I'm pregnant. I'm announcing my pregnancy. I am 10 weeks this week. Um, I am over the moon. I am happy. It's honestly the best news um, to ever happen. So follow me on my channel to hear about me and my story. Um, I'm still going to be doing the pick a card readings, the Reiki healing, the intuitive life coaching, the singing, anything else that I want to do on my channel. But I'm also going to be vlogging at certain points in my pregnancy, kind of, um, what's going on. Um, so let's get started. So, um, it was about a month ago that I found out I was pregnant and, um, I'd missed a period and I was kind of like, what's going on? <laughs> Shit. And um, my friend basically was like, right, let's go do a test. So um, we'd done five and I was like, no, <laughs> that's not real. That's, that's not the truth. And my friend just looked at me like, Sasha. <laughs> and um, this was, so we'd done, we done like the cheap little pound wound Poundland ones. We done a few of them, and um, then we done the more expensive ones. So I done like five in total. Uh, this was one of the more expensive ones, and I've kept it. I've not kept the others because that would be a bit weird, wouldn't it? But I've kept this because um, it's happy news to me. And you know, I'm I'm 26 now. By the time I give birth to the baby, I'll be 27. So I'm right around you know a healthy age. Um, and for me it's such a blessing because um, it's never happened before and um, I, I kind of didn't really know if it would, um, you know, yeah, so the way I wanted it to happen didn't happen how I kind of visualised it but I am a true believer that when there's the right time will be the right time for you so don't worry about if you're with the correct person, if you've got your finances in order, if you're in order, because you have those nine months to kind of just go, right, I can do this, this and this, I can plan this, this and this, this is out of my control, but what I can control is how I deal with this pregnancy and whether I be a good parent or not and what I can do um, to create a better world for my, my child to live in. And that's what I've done. Um, obviously I'm only 10 weeks at the moment, so, so Let's after I found out that I was pregnant, um, I contacted the doctors, I contacted the midwife. A week later, I had my um, booking appointment. I actually had it over the phone. And then I had my um, health assessment where they do all your bloods and everything. Um, and basically, when you're pregnant, what's really key is your folic acid and your vitamin D. Um, because... Um, it basically, if you're really low in folic acid, that can affect the baby um, and stuff like that. Um, particularly if you have parents uh, that have had any sort of spinal issues, scoliosis, spina bifida, all of that, which um, I have. I don't have that, a parent has that. Um, so I knew like, right, folic acid is uh, even more um, beneficial for me as opposed to someone else just because of the background so I have to take uh, like 500 milligrams in as opposed to 400 which most pregnant women would take um, and it also came back that I had a vitamin D deficiency however this is something that has been ongoing for the last six years um, and and it kind of they told me like yeah you need to be on tablets for life um, you know I'm in the UK so we don't have that kind of weather here i can't really get it through my food source um you know, i'm vegan but that's not why i've got a vitamin d deficiency because when i six years ago when i found out i was deficient might have been seven years ago now um i actually ate meat uh, i ate meat and dairy but it made me very ill um and then i transitioned into be being vegan well vegetarian and vegan and it, it changed everything for me it changed how I felt about myself. I lost a lot of weight. I started to glow. Um, the past illnesses I used to get, I then didn't get anymore. And that's remained the same for these years um, to up now to hence. Um, but yeah, apart from the vitamin D. Um, but yeah, so that's easily sorted by um, tablets. Um, I've already started to feel a lot better now. I was in the early stages struggling with health issues and stuff like that. Um, when you are 
pregnant you can be more prone to things such as uh, bladder infections kidney infections all of that so you just need to you know drink enough water um take anything kind of herbal if you can but go to the doctors and speak to whoever you need to don't suffer in silence particularly if you are pregnant um so another thing i started to take was because i read up on it so they don't give you a book anymore you have like an online thing so you don't really get the help nowadays but that's all right for me because i plan everything and i look into things and i research um so I know quite a lot about a lot of different things. Um, one of which being is prenatals. So these are the ones I have. Um, they're really good. They've got folic acid in, they've got vitamin D, they've got loads of other things. They're very good. I've been on these for the last couple of weeks. Um, you can take these particular ones, you can take throughout pregnancy and after pregnancy because um, I choose to, I'm going to breastfeed if I can. And, um, basically you can still take these while breastfeeding because then it makes sure mum is getting enough of the vitamins so also what i found during being pregnant this far hence i hate coffee the smell of it i loathe it is disgusting i used to love coffee i used to be like a little coffee thing um and then i had to like stop it and then i start again and stop it and start it anyway baby don't like coffee baby's like we don't like that smell mummy no so I hate the smell of coffee and can't go into coffee shops now. Um, but what I, I've, I found a replacement and it's a lot healthier. Alpro coconut water. I literally just drink loads of cartons of it. I can't, it's my like addiction right now. It tastes amazing. It makes your um, hair glow, your skin glow. It makes you feel better. It's fortified with uh, particular vitamins. Um, like uh, vitamin D and B12 and calcium it's really good um, and it makes me feel great and it tastes lovely um, I also um, I'm drinking a lot of orange juice uh, because of the vitamin C in it and when you are pregnant you can be more prone to like illness um, yeah and I love fruit <laughs> I'm, which is great because I'm vegan but I will eat like a whole tub of strawberries and then uh, yesterday I ate like a whole cucumber and a whole thing of tomatoes. I mean, I had more throughout the day, but I just, <laughs> I'm just like, I can't just have like four tomatoes. I must have the whole pack. Um, and yeah, whole tubs of blueberries. Blueberries is very good because of the antitoxins and it can actually make your baby's brain a lot more healthier and smarter and the development because of what is in their, their superfoods. Any kind of raspberries, berries, all of that is really good for the baby. And I just, you know, eat whole lots of it because it's like my thing at the moment. Not only that, really, really love strawberries and my vegan ice cream that I get. Oh my God, it is like the best thing ever. Each week I've kind of gone through different things. I went through a phase of loving pickles and then a few days afterwards I ate them and they were repulsive. Um, the other thing I find that is amazing, on days where nausea has been really bad, so I haven't been physically sick, thank God, I've just had really bad nausea. What helps me when I am struggling to eat is these, salt and pepper crackers. Um, because I have them on their own but they've got enough flavour but it's not too overbearing so I'm able to have it and not want to vomit and they're, they're just lovely but then you can because they're so nice you can just eat the whole pack and then you look down and you're like oops <laughs> um, so I think you know in pregnancy you have to be really mindful of what you are putting into your body you want to make sure you're drinking enough water so you're not dehydrated because in early pregnancy we can suffer with headaches um, our body is changing and our body is growing so you want to make sure you're having enough water um, and you're eating enough because not only basically say you have your normal diet and you eat your normal diet now you're growing a baby within you so because you're growing this baby the baby is taking all the nutrients from you so you want to make sure you're taking something like prenatals you want to make sure you're eating a little bit more of the healthier foods more than you normally would because you need to replenish your own body as well um, and that's what I've learned in the early stages when I was just eating normally like when I didn't know I was pregnant I thought I was just ill <laughs> I was like calling up the blood I was calling up the doctors being like something's wrong my bones are hurting I don't feel good I'm fatigued what is going on I need blood tests um 
and then it's like oh <laughs> I'm pregnant <laughs> that's what it was and a you know vitamin D deficiency which is okay now um, but yeah I would say keep up with your doctor's appointments um, there is such a thing as mum brain and I'm only 10 weeks in but already I've started to forget things um, I don't even know what day of the week it is I don't even know what's bloody going on half the time I'm sleeping if I'm not sleeping I'm wanting to sleep or you know I'm watching Netflix or I'm trying to get on with work or I'm trying to go out for walks they say in um, pregnancy if you can be active uh, physical exercise is really good and it helps with the birth basically because you're building up stamina beforehand now so far I've kind of struggled with that I've struggled to kind of wash up sometimes I've struggled to get up and down the stairs sometimes um, it's only now since being on the vitamins since eating loads more food and sleeping more have I started to find my energy is coming back to me hence why you have this video um, but yeah guys just if you're going through that early pregnancy if you're in the fatigue and you're in the tiredness just listen to your body if you need to sleep sleep and don't beat yourself up um, over it it's only now 10 weeks in I've started to kind of go on short walks daily because I'm able to um, and if I'm not able to do it daily I don't beat myself up I'll do some um, pregnancy yoga at home um, or I'll do a little bit of Tai Chi just some form of movement to keep me a little bit active um, not only that you will start to notice your at 10 weeks your body starts to change I've um, the, as the uterus expands it's about the size of an orange right now and the baby is about the size of a raspberry so as the uterus expands your stomach will grow so right now I do have a bump but it's mainly uterus right now and um, depending on how quickly you will show will depend on your body type also um, but yeah so what I have also noticed is my my breasts have become um, a bit more bigger um, and that will happen during pregnancy of course and throughout the pregnancy my sleep I've been going to bed at like eight o'clock at night um, it's only now kind of um, changed so I'll go to bed a little bit later but I'm waking up a lot earlier so I'm waking up anywhere from half six to half seven but I'm a morning bird anyway so that doesn't really affect me um, yeah uh, on the photo that will be on this um, this vlog a lot of that has been my experiences this far hence um, so yeah also oh my god so the nausea the worst part this far about being pregnant not only has it been the fatigue and that I'm constantly tired but it's also been that um, <laughs> just feeling sick all the time so what I found to help is mints any sort of mints ginger tea but I practically live on these ginger nut biscuits honestly first thing in the morning I'll have a biscuit and then I'll drink my water and take my tablets my vitamins and then I'm pretty much all right um, now I'm 10 weeks in the morning sickness isn't so bad the fatigue is getting better I'm feeling a lot more better um, you will start to notice in early pregnancy you'll have food aversions you'll have things you love foods you hate so like for me I hate coffee now but I love strawberries and I love coconut um, and I love orange juice and I'm just want it all the time um, yeah also during pregnancy also during pregnancy you might go through a particular thing of okay what am I gonna do I'm, I need to get this I need to get that what help can I get what financial help can I get how can I support myself who is my support network so my advice with doing that because I done that I looked around me and thought who can help me who is supporting me who is um, being positive about my pregnancy and what I've learned is the ones that are positive about my pregnancy the ones that have been kind to me because not everyone has been right are the true friends the people that are around you supporting you are your true friends are your true support network friends or family whatever it be those are the people you go to not the people telling you other things just because they're talking from their own projections or their own life or however they view pregnancy or having children for me I've always wanted children I view children as a gift when I found out I was pregnant I thought oh my god 
this is my gift. It's finally happened. I didn't think it could and it's happened and I'm happy. However, I was met by certain people that weren't very nice. Um, and, and that was hard because it made me feel alone. But then on the flip side of that, I had a lot of people in my life, friends and family, and um, people that didn't know me very well, organisations, that have been such a support for me. And they've been so lovely. And it just shows me, do you know what? Not everyone is scummy. Not everyone is projecting. Not everyone, you know, doesn't want the best for you. Not everyone, you know, is going to kind of crap all over your your happiness but unfortunately people like that do exist and a lot of it a lot of the time is people's own projections it's their own life it's their own drama um you know or it's lack of understanding or it's fear and when we are in a state of fear we often can perceive things as like well your life's over now you've got a child oh is it or has it just started because in my perception it shifts my whole reality even more. Um, you know, I'm you know I'm happy in myself, and now I've got a beautiful baby that's coming in, you know, a few months time, and my whole reality changes. Um, you know, I'll be living in a flat with my my baby and bringing up my baby, and I'll get to look at that baby every day and realise that it's such a gift. And not everyone can have that. Not everyone, unfortunately, can have a baby and give birth. Some people have to go through IVF. Some people aren't successful in that. Some people um, have to adopt or, or they can't uh, financially afford it. I'm, you know, so grateful that my body has given me this this gift of life, this gift of um, a little being that I, I can nurture and I can love um, and I can bring up in this beautiful world. And I'm so happy and so grateful for that. So my advice to anyone that's pregnant or wanting to give birth, don't listen to the naysayers. Don't listen to, you know, I don't know, whether it be friends, family, the partner, the ex, whoever it is. If they have anything negative to say, tune it out. Because what matters is you and what matters is your baby, no one else. And what matters is you are your most healthier self in mind body and spirit not only for yourself but for your baby so along this journey obviously there has been some there has been some upset there has been some anxieties that in all honesty have been others um not my own but i, I kind of took it as my own in the early stages of my pregnancy i felt like i couldn't be happy i felt like i couldn't be happy because there was a few people that were quite negative and it then made me feel like, oh my God, I'm not supported or I can't be happy about my pregnancy. And then I spoke to some other people and they were like, oh my God, Sasha, you're going to be an amazing mother. You're so nurturing. You're so loving. You're going to be amazing. And I was like, actually, yes, I am. Of course I am. What these other people were saying, like, you know, oh, this is how you get an abortion or, oh, you know, I'm pro-abortion or oh, you're stupid for getting pregnant or you know oh this is a mistake or whatever people say to you yeah it can negatively affect you and it did negatively affect me but I kind of just realized but that's their perception that's that's not mine that isn't my voice so I'm not going to take it goodbye um to those kind of voices but this is life people have their own perspectives whether they are right or wrong uh, you know, we all ha hold duality within us. We all can be positive and negative. Surround yourself by people that are going to support you. And what I've also learned is people that in the early stages weren't so supportive are now more supportive, I think. <laughs> um, you know, and if they're not, cut them out of your life because you don't need people like that. You need yourself, you need to be healthy, and you need to know you've got a good support network around you. Um, so also what I found to help me during uh, kind of stressful situations, particularly in the early days, I would burn, not every day, lavender incense because lavender is well known um, to promote calm and help with sleep and relax your body. And when you have a relaxed mind, your body naturally relaxes. So what that means is the growth of the baby can naturally relax. And that's what you want to do in pregnancy. You want to remain as calm and relaxed as you can and as positive as you can. I think you should look at things 
of course, don't close an eye, don't turn a blind eye. Um, I think you should know like what comes with having a child, what comes with pregnancy. You should know, you know, all of the, it's not always gonna be easy. When the baby's born, if you choose to breastfeed like I'm going to, okay, you could get cracked, you know. Um, well, you can use coconut oil right or um there are other you don't have to do that you can use the pumps or you can use formula there is different types of formula out there uh, if you don't need, wish to use cow's milk which i wouldn't um uh, that that are safe obviously you look into things that are safe um and then you can also ask your midwife or your doctor's opinion if you wish to to deal with stretch marks to deal with all of that you can use coconut oil it is natural and it is safe and you can use it all around your body it's also good for moisturizing not only that you can have um epsom salt baths every like once a week or every two weeks not too much epsom and you can put that in a bath with rose petals and that will really help to calm you not only that what i've noticed in pregnancy i usually have really clear skin um i usually have really smooth soft skin what i've noticed is um it's gone a little bit chickeny it's gone a little bit um spot like um and that is just hormones changing so what i will do is i'll put some oats in a little uh bag thing that has little holes in and then I'll put that in the bath and what that does is it makes my skin a lot more soothe and then I exfoliate and it helps with anything like that. Pregnancy can be the most beautiful thing but it can do ugly things to our body. That does not make you ugly. If anything you're just going to grow and you're going to glow and I want you to know that pregnancy doesn't have to be a scary thing. Yes there are scary things within it but the idea of pregnancy you don't have to live in fear you don't have to think oh i can't have also, that also i found during pregnancy it's good to write down what you are grateful for and why so this is my gratitude book and basically um it's from amazon every day i will write down as part of my pregnancy what i'm grateful for because what it does um it helps with our moods it helps us to look at the positive in life because when we are pregnant we can experience mood swings we can experience low moods so what you want to do is you want to look at your life and go okay well this is good and this is good um and if there's anything that can be improved then you have enough time to improve it but um i really recommend keeping a gratitude practice um and also taking photos throughout your pregnancy because then you can look back on it um, at your pregnancy journey and being pregnant is a gift so for any other mothers out there I want you to know you're not alone feel free to reach out to me via my email everything would be down in the comment section and the description box if you have any questions surrounding pregnancy um, if you need any support or help um, or you just want to ask me about my journey feel free to put it down in the comment section or reach out to me uh, privately via my email and yeah guys I just I'm so happy I'm so grateful that I get to be a, a mummy and I I can't wait to meet my little beam um yeah I'm I'm so happy and I'm so excited and I'm so grateful that you guys get to share this journey with me um and yeah Thank you guys, thank you for watching um, if you have watched all of this and have a beautiful lovely day guys, bye bye.